What's up guys, Kenny G here coming at you with another video. Today we're going to be talking about how to mod your PlayStation Classic using Project Airs 1.0 in order to add new games to your PlayStation Classic. Now in order to do this you're going to need a USB stick, a decent size is recommended because as you probably know PlayStation Class, PlayStation games sorry, take up a lot more space than you know ROMs for like the Super Nintendo or NES or stuff like that. Now Project Airs also supports adding older emulators like that as well as more modern stuff like uh, the PSP as well as Dreamcast I believe so the project there is very capable and very powerful However, we're going to be focusing specifically on adding PlayStation games to your PlayStation classic now If you're interested in the other features Let me know in the comments and we can film tutorials for those other features for now though Let's focus specifically on adding new PlayStation games to your PlayStation classic using project Ares 1.0 now the first thing you're going to do is head over to modmyclassic.com and download Project Ares 1.0 using these files. There's going to be two files you need. Specifically, you're going to need the 1.0 package as well as the desktop application. Make sure you download both and extract them to whatever folder works for you. And then let's move on to the next step. Now the next step is we need to format our USB stick and set it to XFAT. As well, you should name your USB stick Sony in all capital letters. Next, we're going to head over to wherever we extracted the files in the previous step, and we're going to go into the folder Project Ares 1.0. Specifically, we're going to grab the three folders there. There's going to be one with a long string of letters and numbers, as well as Project Ares and a folder called ROMs. Copy all three to your freshly formatted USB stick. Okay, guys, so the files are copied over, so now all we got to do is disconnect our USB stick from our computer and plug it into the second port on your PlayStation Classic. Next, let's jump over to our PlayStation Classic. This is it booting up. We've got the USB stick in port two, and it's just booting up. Now, if you've done everything correctly, it's gonna show Project Ares, and it's gonna go through a whole bunch of steps. This is gonna take a few minutes, so I'm speeding up the process here. It does not go this quick. Trust me, it's gonna take you probably at least five minutes, I'm guessing, or longer to go through all these steps. Of course, like I said, I sped it up using the magic of editing. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is turn off your PlayStation Classic and remove the USB stick and plug it back into your PC. Next, we're going to go over and fire up the application. That's the other file you downloaded from Project Ares. Now we're going to go over and hit the plus symbol at the top of the screen. Now this is going to pop up this window, but we don't need this just yet. It's a bit weird that, that pops up, but don't worry about that. Close it, hit add file here on the on the application, and we're going to navigate to where we got the discs. Specifically, I'm adding police knots. If you got a multi-disc game, add, add the discs all at the same time. And once the discs are added, the, the progress meters on the right will disappear, and we're going to have our files. Now before we go any further, we're going to get the box art and the title for the game. So go click this button in the bottom of the application. Here we're going to do, use the search function to search for the game we're adding. So here I'm typing in police knots, I'm searching, and there you see all the results. Double click the title, now it's going to bring up all the information for the game. You're going to click the arrow here and it's going to auto fill in the fields there. As well as we're going to click this other button here to bring over the thumbnail. Now you're going to click save. There's two save buttons there and you want to save both in order to save the image as well as the metadata for the game. Now if you go back, now you can see there are four files uh, here in this area. Now we need to rename the disks to line up with the basically the disk IDs. Now these are the IDs that Sony uses to uh, refer to the disks. So usually they're like SLUS or, or other, other variations of that depending on the region. So disk 1 needs to match up with the uh, disk ID as well as disk 2 needs to match up with the, the other disk ID. Now you can see them up at the top where underneath title it says disks and there's just two disk IDs there. So specifically you want to name them that. In this case I'm using ISO files but you can also use PBP files and binq files. With ISOs, you have to rename them to .img. Uh, IMG and ISO are basically the same file format. I added ISO files, but yeah, like I was saying, you can also add bin and uh, PBP files. So here I am renaming the uh, files to make sure they line up with the uh, ones listed at the top of the screen where it says disks and it has the two SLUS IDs. Also, your image, your thumbnail for your game needs to match up. Once you've done all this, you can click Generate Database at the bottom of the application. It's going to pop up this other screen where you can create folders to organize your files more. But in this case, just click Generate because we're only adding a single game. If you're adding a ton of games, you might want to add folders to make this easier to organize. Now, it's generated that. Now, we're disconnecting our USB stick and we're hopping over to our PlayStation Classic. 
again I've plugged the USB stick back into port 2. Now you can see Project Eris is booting up here. This is the first time with a, with a fresh game. Now you can see the, the boot up screen is a little different. We're just going to select Project Eris. The other options were uh, Emulation Station and RetroArch. We don't need to worry about those for now. That's if you want to add like emulators. There's a lot, like I said, there's a lot of power in this application. Now we're just going to scroll over and find our game. We added Police Knots, which is a Japanese translated game. So this is a game that never even came out in North America, except for some fans translated the game and allowed us to now play the game. So this is an awesome way for us to be able to play these types of games, as well as games maybe you never got the chance to, or games that uh, maybe you own but no longer work for whatever reason, right? Disc rot and all that jazz. So anyways, guys, that is basically it on how to add games. Let me know what you thought. I tried to get through this as fast as possible, make it as simple as possible, because things can be a little tricky if you don't know exactly what to do. So let me know what you think of this tutorial in the comments below. Make sure that you uh, smash like if you liked it. If you really want to help us out, smash subscribe. That would be really appreciated. Let us know if you want other tutorials on Project Eris and uh, we'll make sure we film them for you. Okay guys, that's all there is really to say for the time being, so I hope you liked the video, and we'll catch you in the next video. Hey guys, this is Lydia. If you like what you see, hit that like button, as it helps our channel gain exposure. Also consider smashing subscribe. If you like our content, it would really mean a lot, and helps our channel grow. If you want to interact with us, leave a comment down below, or follow us on Twitch at super underscore dorkalicious. We'll see you next time.